He's coming this way. FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. All right, just arrived in Hermosillo, Mexico. I'm going to do a Sonora Desert Mule Deer Hunt. Uh, the thing about coming down to Mexico, I want to tell you, if you wind up coming down here, if you deal with a reputable outfitter, he's going to tell you beforehand what you need to do, what you need to bring down here. He's going to get all your paperwork taken care of for you. So when you come through customs, he meets you at the gate right here and takes you to your location. I have been looking forward to coming here for, well, since the last time I left. Folks, this country right here is so big and so vast, and it is so beautiful. This is Mexico. We're down here hunting burros, mule deer, big Sonoran desert mule deer. And the country is so big that from the gate right here where we're heading is a one hour drive on the property just to get back to where we want to get started. <music> The very first location that we'll do on this hunt is at Rancho Cimarron, and it is a remote, wild ranch that they've only had under management for a couple of months. They've had food and water out for a couple of months, and I'm telling you, this place is thick, and it's like the Wild West. The outfitter for this trip is my friend Abram. Many people know him as Abraham, but I have known him for over 20 years. Now, Abram is from Laredo, Texas, and he's like me. He's a white-tailed deer nut. But years ago, Abram decided he's going to kind of change his focus. He's going to come to Mexico with mule deer on his mind. You ever eaten one? They're good to eat. Their meat is real good. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, Walls Pro Series, Legendary Arms Works, Sightmark, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, and Tannerite. The High Road will be right back. So the first morning, Rodrigo, Juan Pablo, and I are going to head up to a high spot. We're going to overlook the area, kind of get a good lay of the land. The reason is that these guys are relatively new to the ranch, too, and we're trying to get an idea of what we're going to do the next couple of days. All right, let's hoof it up that mountain right there and see what we got. Ready? You're going to see why I love this country so much.
this is a perfect time to be up here too. The animals ought to be moving. And you'd think with all this rock, if one tips over a rock and odds are he's going to, you're gonna be able to hear him. Of course they could hear us walking up here too. Gosh, I'd like to see a big old yellow butted mule deer up there and figure out how to kill him. With so much country to cover and it being so thick, we are wearing out our binoculars and that's for sure. And then all of a sudden Juan Pablo, he catches a glimpse of a buck making his way through the thick brush. We all get together and we try to get a good look at him, but I'm telling you, it is tough because the brush is so thick. Don't take your eyes off of him. He's walking which way? Left or right? I, I got it the, the right cactus. This is the two cactus. Right here at the bottom? Yes. Close. It's one and two. Yes. Uh -huh. I got him. I got him. He's a long ways off. Five hundred. Five hundred. That's doable. Now that we've seen this buck, our confidence is high, and we've decided we're going to stay at this spot. We're going to see if we can catch him in the open. Buck fever. Buck fever. <laughs> buck fever. Book fever. The next couple of days we saw some beautiful scenery from that same spot, but we didn't see any deer. So we decided to change strategies. We're going to go high racking, and what that means we're going to get up in the top of a pickup truck in a special rack designed for hunting. And we're going to drive around, we're going to scout, we're going to look, we're going to cover as much country as possible. Now those people that have never high racked before may be thinking, ah, there's got to be a better way to do it. Well, if there is, I'd like you to tell me how. Because there is no way in this thick brush with this vast country that you can cover as much country and pick it apart looking for that big mule deer than off a high rack. All right, we're going to true the rifle in. Uh, I'm shooting a 300 Win Mag. It is made by Legendary Arms Works. And I realize that I have not uh, really trued this rifle in. What I'm talking about, I changed the scope. I put a 5 by 30 sight mark scope on it. And I didn't true the rifle in. I'm dead on at 200, and I know where it's going to shoot at 300, but I may get a shot at 400 yards, maybe even a bit further. So what I'm doing now, we've got Juan Pablo carrying the target down there. He's going to set it up at 400 yards. Vamos! Vamos! <laughs> He's going to go out there at 400 yards. And I'm going to take a pop and see what we do, and then uh, that way I'll have a little bit more confidence. Very first thing we're going to do here is we're going to build our house. And you'll notice I've got a bunch of stuff set down over here where I have literally, I've got a backpack and a jacket and everything. And building your house is all about setting up a good foundation. We have a target down there that is at exactly 400 yards. And what I'm trying to do, I'm going to step it out. I'm going to see where it's hitting at 400 yards. And that way I've got better confidence if we see an animal at 400 yards. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Pulsar, Timber Creek Outdoors, Legends Ranch, the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite Binary Reactive Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. 
All right, this question is from a viewer named Louise watching on our YouTube channel. She says, love your shows on YouTube and look forward to them each week. What's the biggest challenge you face while hunting in so many different places? Louise, the answer is pretty simple. It's keeping up with all the regulations from state to state or from country to country, and it's for that reason that we rely on our outfitters so heavily. Uh, you know, if you've got a question or a comment about the show, you can get a hold of me on Facebook or Instagram, or heck, if you're watching on YouTube, ask me a question there just like Louise did. Now it's time for Gear Care, brought to you by the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. This is my 6.5 Creedmoor. It is made by Legendary Arms Works, and it is a tack driver, but it's time to clean it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a patch, and I'm going to take this cleaner right here. The cool thing about this cleaner is it is a one and done type deal. You'll notice I'm going to dip the patch in it. I'm going to put it on my rod just like that. And then, well, that's not too dirty. And pull it back. And there you go. You can actually see that patch. And what we're going to do, we're going to repeat the process. Once the patch comes out clean with this product, you're good to go. And the reason why is because it has a lubricant in it. So there's no reason for you to go and lubricate your bore. And this product actually removes lead, and copper fouling, carbon residue, and any oil that's in the barrel. One of the nice things I like about guns is every one of them is different. I love getting to know my guns. You know, some of them like different ammo, and some of them like to shoot better on a clean bore, and some like a slightly foul bore. But I guarantee you, as a gun owner, we all need to have a good clean bore. For more information on the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, visit our website and join us on Facebook for more gear care tips. Coming to Rancho Cimarron, we knew it was going to be tough. I mean, we're down here early. Uh, typically, people come trophy mule deer hunting in Sonora in January when the rut's on. And so with it being December, we knew it was early. So it didn't surprise me that we didn't bust a big buck. But the real reason that I came to Mexico was to come to the El Chaparral Ranch, the number one mule deer destination in Mexico. After a short drive, we wound up at El Chaparral Ranch and it really looked a lot different than El Cimarron. From the moment that you arrive, the, the staff is attentive. The, the lodging is absolutely spectacular. It's world class. You wouldn't think you're in Mexico, I guarantee you that. The meals are phenomenal, the, you can drink the water. Everything here is perfect. My name is Abraham Garcia. I'm partner here at Rancho El Chaparral. We're in Sonora, Mexico, and this is uh, just a great uh, hunting destination for mule deer, for desert bighorn sheep, and coos whitetail deer. Keith Warren has been a good friend of mine for many years. We met up in Texas years back and uh, we see each other maybe once a year and we, we have a passion for, for mule deer. And I know he, he loves mule deer, so this year I told him you need to come on a hunt and he, he said he, was, uh, he jumped on board, so we were very, very uh, happy to have him here at the Rancho El Chaparral. All right, third trip up the high rack, and I am stoked. I uh, got up this morning a little bit later start. I watched the sun come up, put my boots out on the porch, and the weather is nice. And I know that we're going to cover a lot of country, a lot of new country that we haven't seen yet. And so as we go up and down the hills, we stop, we glass, we look at a lot of country, but so far we don't see anything. And then all of a sudden, the wind picks up, and it's pretty doggone strong. And this time, it's strong in our favor. I don't go hunting hardly anywhere without a Reconyx game camera, and so I brought one on this trip. And the reason why is uh, I want to be able to have something hunt for me 24-7, and the camera does that for me, so it'll be interesting. I'm putting it on feeder number 26, 26. It'll be interesting to see what comes in, because the guys here at El Chaparral Ranch say that's a pretty good location. We stop and we're glassing, and I mean this buck, he's huge. He's big, and he's heading straight at us. The question is, how close will he come? Go. 
coming this way. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by PyramidAir.com Liberty Safe Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99% and Shadow Hunter Blinds. The High Road will be right back. Hey, I'm Melissa Bachman, host of Winchester Deadly Passion, and you're watching The High Road with Keith Warren, and we're down sharing camp in Mexico, and it's going to be great. He's down at the bottom. Where'd he go? Come on. There he is. He's got to turn sideways. Here he goes. He's down. He's down. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a giant buck. That right there is a classic, classic Sonoran mule deer. He is beautiful, wide, heavy and chocolate antlered. And he flipped right up there. I can see him, barely see him right there on the other side of that choya. And we have been fighting the wind. And that deer had no idea we were up here. We drove up here. We've been driving around, scouting, getting up on some of this high country. And you can see for miles. And all of a sudden looked down and that buck was all by himself just coming this way. And he absolutely had no idea what hit him. <laughs> this is cocaine right here. Cocaine, his real name is Jorge, but they call him Cocaine. Okay, number one guide. Holy smokes, let's go see what we got. <laughs> Mercy. All right, so we wind up to the deer. He hits the deck, and I mean, it was remarkable. I sat there and just like, although Coquine and I can't speak very well together. I mean, I don't understand what he's saying in Spanish, and he certainly doesn't understand what I'm saying in English, but we understand in jubilation. We understand in our eyes and our feelings and the joy that we just accomplished something that we didn't, well, we didn't get up that morning and expect to accomplish. But we got a big old mule deer on the ground. He's looking up, and I cannot wait to get my hands on him. Goodness gracious. Looky here, Cocaine here. Let me give this to you, please. Oh, ho, 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 ho. need a wide angle lens for that dude right there. Look at that. What a beautiful buck. Look how chocolate antlered he is. He had no idea that we were on that ridge watching him. And uh, I am thrilled to death. If y'all want more information on hunting opportunities down here in the Sonoran Desert at the number one mule deer destination, that Mexico has to offer, get a hold of Abram. I've called him Abram for many, many years. You can call him Abraham, but uh, just call him. I mean, if you're looking for a wonderful Sonoran desert mule deer hunt with some of the biggest deer on earth, give Abram a call. Look at this buck right here. What a beast of a deer. <laughs> So after the recovery and after you know admiring the deer and thanking God to be able to live in a country that allows us the freedom to travel here and a country like Mexico that welcomes Americans to come here and hunt for big mule deer, it's just so awesome. I mean the group of guys got together, we loaded him in the back of the buggy and uh, off they went. And I kept thinking to myself, how can I get any better? And then all of a sudden I thought, I got it. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the El Chaparral Ranch. And next time, I want to invite you to come with me. If you're interested in coming on a Sonoran Desert Mule Deer Hunt at El Chaparral Ranch, get a hold of Abram and I can guarantee you, you better be ready because you're going to see some of the best mule deer hunting on the planet. Mm -hmm.